Breaking news, Tesla and Anglo-Australian mining firm BHP have signed a nickel supply agreement for upcoming battery production. Under the terms of the agreement, struck on Thursday, BHP, which is a global mining company based in Australia, will supply the automaker with nickel from its Nickel West asset in Western Australia. BHP assured the innovative car maker on Thursday that its Nickel West asset is one of the world's largest sources of most sustainable and lowest carbon emission nickel. According to the company, its refinery produces approximately 80,000 tons of nickel per year, which is just enough for 2 million EV batteries. Tesla's recent move to partner with several nickel mining companies comes amid growing concerns that the demand for the metal will explode over the next decade due to the rising demand for EV batteries. Today, most nickel is mined in Russia, New Caledonia, Canada, Australia and Indonesia and is primarily used in the production of stainless steel. Australia currently holds approximately 25% of the world's nickel supply. The upsurge of EV adoption has added a new source of demand for the mineral. Nickel is a key ingredient in the production of high-powered lithium-ion batteries for electric cars. Under the agreement, the electric automaker would be an industrial partner and help with product and sustainability standards while also buying some nickel for its battery production. BHP said it would closely work with the automaker to keep track of battery raw materials using blockchain. The company will collaborate with Tesla to identify renewable energy and battery storage solutions to lower carbon emissions during its mining operations. So far, no details on the duration or value of the contract have been shared with the general public. Talks of a possible nickel supply deal between Tesla and the Australian mining giant started last year in October. The president of BHP's Nickel West subsidiary, Edward Hagel, revealed that his company had ramped up the production after Tesla CEO Elon Musk had urged nickel mining companies to get the metal in large quantities and in an environmentally sensitive way. In a 2020 earnings call, Tesla CEO pleaded with mining companies to increase their nickel production. Wherever you are in the world, please mine more nickel and don't wait for nickel to go back to some long, Elon Musk said during Tesla's second quarter earnings call, pointing out that nickel could assist Tesla to solve its battery cell supply issues. There is like two general classes of the cell. There is like iron phosphate and then the nickel-based. The nickel-based cells have a higher energy density, so an extended range. Obviously, those are needed for something like a semi, where every unit of mass that you add in the battery pack, you have to subtract in cargo, he said. However, BHP is not the first company that Tesla has reached for the nickel supply deal. This year in February, Tesla agreed to partner with a nickel mine in Indonesia. The country's deputy head for investment and mining coordination disclosed that he had received an investment proposal from the automaker. Recently, the U.S. electric vehicle maker also secured long-term nickel supply through the New Caledonia Partnership. For a starter, New Caledonia is the world's fourth largest producer of nickel. The Pacific Islands Goro mine is owned by a Brazil-based miner Valley and the French state. The nickel mine was last year sold to a Swiss commodity trader, Trafigura, something that triggered strikes and protests across the nation. The Tesla's recent nickel supply deal with BHP suggests that the company may be moving much faster with the Tesla Semi or the Cybertruck production, which have been delayed for some years now, with Mr. Musk pointing to battery cell supply issues as the main production hurdle to Tesla's growth. In a slightly related story, Tesla has sold out Maxwell Technologies' ultra-capacitor business to UCAP, which is another developer of ultra-capacitor-based power solutions. As per remarks made by UCAP in a press release last week, the acquisition included Maxwell's Korea-based ultra-capacitor business and other assets related to the company's brand. Back in 2019, the electric automaker announced the purchase of San Diego-based Maxwell Technology, an ultra-capacitor and battery company, for $235 million. While Maxwell Technology was primarily known for its ultra-capacitor business, the company has just unveiled a new dry electrode technology for electric car battery cells. 
and Tesla revealed that Maxwell's dry electrode technology was what the company had been looking for, as it would help lower the cost of its lithium batteries. The automaker opted to utilize the technology in its high-density 4680 battery cells, which were unveiled at Battery Day last year. Nevertheless, Tesla integrated Maxwell's ultra-capacitor business into the company, but it wasn't established whether the company wanted to use this technology in its products. Two years later, that didn't happen, and now we are learning that Maxwell's ultra-capacitor business has been acquired by UCAP. Considering that both the Tesla Semi and Tesla Cybertruck are reportedly on track to start initial deliveries in late 2021, there is a chance that the company's 4680 cells and Maxwell's dry electro technology that goes into them are closing in on insane mass production. In a separate developing story, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed that Tesla may soon resume accepting Bitcoin as a payment on new vehicles, if energy usage for Bitcoin mining and transactions is at least 50% clean and renewable. I want to do a little more due diligence to confirm that the percentage of renewable energy usage is most likely at or above 50% and that there is a trend toward increasing that number. Elon Musk said the Wednesday's B World Conference, the CEO noted that he is hopeful Tesla would start accepting the digital currency once more. For the past few years, Tesla has been delving deep into the cryptocurrency sector at different levels. Early this year, Tesla shocked investors when it announced an investment of $1.5 billion in Bitcoin back in December of 2020. In March this year, the company officially began accepting Bitcoins as a payment for its sustainable energy products and electric cars. This sent Bitcoin prices soaring above $60,000. Later, Elon Musk promised to extend the program to international customers, as it was only available to buyers in the United States. Mr. Musk also talked about the potential of the company beginning to recognize other digital currencies like Dogecoin as a payment for its vehicles. Unfortunately, car purchases with Bitcoin were short-lived, as the electric car maker halted the service in mid-May. According to Mr. Musk, the impact of Bitcoin mining on the environment was the main reason why Tesla took a step back. Cryptocurrency mining and transactions require powerful computers. These supercomputers increase the use of fossil fuels like coal, which contribute to climate change. During the Wednesday's conference, Mr. Musk said that the crypto industry is at least shifting a lot more toward renewables, but he said his company would do more due diligence to verify. Musk believes there are improvements already as a dozen of heavy-duty coal plants have been shut down in regions like China. On top of Tesla's investment, the CEO confirmed that he personally has invested in Bitcoin and wants to see it succeed. Mr. Musk is a public supporter of several digital currencies, and he has smaller Dogecoin and Ethereum holdings. Mr. Musk reiterated that he is ready to accept the crypto for Tesla electric cars, as long as there is a conscious effort to move Bitcoin miners toward renewables. The CEO has previously suggested different ways to turn cryptocurrency mining into a greener and cleaner process. He suggested crypto miners be used as space heaters to improve power consumption. Musk acknowledged that he uses three crypto miners to heat up his house during the winter. According to the billionaire, his crypto miners are powered by cheap hydropower, which lowers down his electric heating needs. Musk also confirmed that his space transport services company SpaceX owns Bitcoin. He dismissed claims that he wants to sell Bitcoin, adding his companies Tesla and SpaceX would retain status as having diamond hands. Musk revived his support for Bitcoin when China is intensifying its crackdown on cryptocurrencies and services related to cryptocurrency transactions. Chinese government has been expelling crypto miners in the country, who have already started setting up Bitcoin mining rigs in other regions of the world. Recently, Malaysian police seized and destroyed over 1,000 Bitcoin mining rigs. As several other countries continue to embrace cryptocurrencies, we'll have to wait and see if or when the world's leading electric manufacturer Tesla will start accepting Bitcoins once again for its EV purchases. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.